everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're just joining, my name is Melinda and I am a part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. My username on those platforms is Tailored and Teal and you can find me on those platforms and also Instagram at that same username. So with the course of events that are happening in 2020 and April of 2020 right now, um, thrift stores are closed and we have to be creative in our sourcing. So I was browsing on ThreadUp one day and I came across something called their ThreadUp outlet. And it was like, if you purchase five pieces of clothing, you got 20% off, 10 pieces of clothing, you got 30% off, and 20 pieces of clothing, you got 40% off. So I just started browsing and was like, you know, what kind of brands could they possibly have? And they weren't that bad actually. Um, so I was able to find 24 pieces my first round. I actually purchased 20 other pieces in another round, which I'll do another video on that. Um, but overall, I'm pretty pleased. I got the box yesterday and it was all 24 items in one box. And I'm gonna show you what I got. But first I wanna go over what I paid for the box. So um, I paid $149.63 for total for the total box um i saved 96 dollars and 30 cents with my 40 percent off discount there was five dollars and 78 cents in taxes and then i had a 61 cent credit because i sold something a while ago and it just finally came in so that comes to be about i figured it out it's like a little over six dollars per item which is more than i would like to pay however it's okay in the time that we are in now because I don't really have a choice. So let me show you what I got. So this is a Lucky Brand dress. It is a smaller size Lucky Brand, but it is a newer tag. Um, it's an extra small and it's this cute little floral dress. It's got um, sheer sleeves. It does have a slip underneath it because it is kind of sheer but I just thought this was beautiful. And I looked it over, I haven't gotten it under my lights yet, but I looked it over and I didn't see any holes or any snagging to the sheer. Oh, I just found something here, but this is underneath. So this is in the lining, but I should be able to get that out. And it's underneath, so can't really see it anyway. I did try to buy items that were like new condition or you might even, what do they say? You might even mistake it for new. I tried to stick to those items. So next up is an e-shakti dress and this is a size 1X or 16W. It has this cute um, star print. I do believe that there is somewhere to the armpit here, but if it's underneath your armpit, you're not gonna be able to see it. It doesn't smell, which is good, the armpit at least. Um, so it's got a V-neck, kind of longer sleeves. And it's got pockets down here. Cute. Just thought this would be a great little summer dress for someone. Then I, this was under their assorted brands or unbranded. And I thought for a second that the closure was broken. So it's a brand RRI. I think that's what that says. It kind of looks vintage actually. Or no, is this it? Okay, backwards, it looks like it says Lisa, but it's, I think it's RRI, but it's this beautiful, um, like what are these, hyacinths? So pretty. And they have beading down here on the bottom and it is lined underneath. Just kidding, it's not lined underneath. So you can see all of the embroidery uh, on the bottom or underneath. And it is a size... six I thought it was a bit small but yeah there's the back I just thought it was really pretty and I bought it based on how it looked not the brand because obviously there was no brand all right this was kind of a gamble but I thought that it was really neat looking um it is a belt so here's what it looks like up front it does have the hook and hook closure kind of like a bra almost and here's the back it's a little bit wider i just thought it was super fun and um it's by chula and i think i did look up this website um but i didn't really see any 
comps or anything like that, but that's okay because it's a very unique piece and it is a size small. Then we have an Athleta, athletic shirt and it is a size large. That's one reason why I picked it up. Also, this thing is super soft. Um, so black shirt, it's got the stripes down the sleeve and what is this? Oh, it's just a little tag or thing back there. Yeah, really nice condition as well. So this was a cool find. They had this listed under assorted brand or unbranded, but I zoomed in and I saw this. And this is a smart wool label. So this is just a little purple beanie um, on the inside. It does need some lint rolling. It's brown. You could even probably flip it over if you wanted to and have it be reversible, but I thought that was cool. I've never found smart wool out in the wild, so even as a hat, I'm excited to get it. All right, so this is a Lucky Brand top, size medium. They actually had quite a few Lucky Brand items in their outlet center. Um, I only purchased a few though, so I thought this was beautiful. It's got this lace detail on the side, kind of like a window pane plaid. It is a little see-through, so you wouldn't need to wear a shirt underneath, but really nice. Also another brand or another item that was on their assorted brands list, but I based, I got these based off of style. I thought these were really cool. Okay, so first the brand is not the same, and there's not the same.com. I have not looked this up yet. It is a size 38, which is um, European sizing, which I will have to look, but I would say they're like a six or an eight, but there are these really soft velour pants with this all over paisley print. Hello. And they kind of flare at the bottom. So they're like a, maybe a straight leg, but I just thought they were really cool. And they even have their branding on their button here. So I'll have to look that up. I didn't look at their website yet. This blouse I bought on the print because it was super cute. So it's a brand Pixley, size small. It has these little elephants and polka dot print everywhere. And it's um, just a blouse, just a semi-sheer blouse. Um, does have roll tab sleeves over here, but I liked the print. This was a really cool find. Um, so this is a beach lunch lounge size medium shirt, but it's a chambray plaid shirt or not shirt. I think it's a dress. It's a dress. So here's the sleeves, which can be rolled out. There's the button there. And then the, um, the loop is underneath and yeah. Oh, there's pockets down here. Yeah. I really liked this. Nope. That's just dust. Thankfully. All right, I've never, I think I've seen this brand out in the wild, but I've never picked it up before. Um, it's bar three. I've heard other people talking about it. It is a size large, which is a great size. And it's got this beautiful print on it, kind of like a chevron look to it. And it's got this piping down here, which is very figure flattering and side zipper. And oh, it looks like it splits so that you can see the lining underneath of green. Really cool. So I've sourced these pants before and that's why I picked them up or selected them, I guess you could say. This is the Cartonnier and this is the Charlie trouser and it's got this geometric print to it and a really pretty blue. Um, so here they are, they are cropped. Um, the, my last pair I think was a size four, but they sold pretty quickly. So this is Talbot's and this is an older style Talbot's. This Talbot's, this might even be vintage, but I really liked the look of this. So it's a dress green and it's button front. And yes, all of the buttons are there. They're just not all buttoned. It's got these like cargo pockets in front and just a really long maxi dress. very classic, very um, minimalist, I guess you could call it. 
Picked up a few pairs of jeans too. Oh, and another thing is that if you purchase anything over $79, it was free shipping. So that was good. I didn't have to pay shipping. So this is a Lucky Brand size six long. I didn't even realize it was a long. Oh, that's okay. Then this is the Sophia boot. So it's a boot cut jean. Nice condition. This is an Odile, Odile skirt. O-D-I-L-L-E, size 10, this cream colored. Um, it's kind of like got a quilted effect to it. Um, and it has polka dots and a little ruffle front. And then the rest of the fabric or print is like a floral print. Um, I picked up an Odile skirt before and it sold within like two days. So I'm hoping that this one will also go well. This next skirt I picked up basically because I liked it. <laughs> um, it's the brand Vero Moda, which is, it's a European brand. So there's that. But look how pretty this is. It's super short, so you definitely, you know, need nice legs for it. Um, but yeah, it's got this pretty lace overlay up front. And then underneath, you can see there's that. And then just the back is plain. I have no idea how the brand does, but I really liked the print. All right, so this got me. So these leggings were under assorted or unbranded. But I saw this. Okay, just back, back up. Does this look like Lululemon to you? It's not. I have no idea what this brand is. It looks like a R. And I, you know what? I didn't even look at the RN number. There is no RN number. So, but they're, they're like stretchy workout leggings. They have this ombre effect to it. Um, they feel nice and they have this, um, kind of like ribbing effect down the front. I don't know. It says it's small, medium, 64% nylon, polyester, and spandex. So if you know what this brand is, that's not Lululemon, let me know in the comments below. Thank you. All right, there's another skirt. This is an Ann Taylor um, outlet or factory. This is a size 18. Really pretty, pretty jacquard fabric to it. Another skirt. I picked up quite a few skirts, which is fine because spring is coming. So this is a Zara Trafalic collection. This says that it's a size small, but honestly, it's tiny. Like it might even be an extra small, but I thought that the embroidery was adorable. It has this lace up detail on the side. It's hard to see because it's not actually on, but really, really nice. Another skirt. This is an Ann Taylor again. Nope. Just kidding. It's Gap, but it's a size 16 and it is 100% linen. That's one reason why I picked it up. It's a really pretty pink. It's got this cute little ruffle detail on the bottom. Perfect for spring. My pile is overcoming. Oh, hi, Tanner has joined the video. So this was another cool find too. So these were under assorted, assorted brands, I believe. But I saw this logo, which is cool. These do have one little spot over here that I could see, but um, I think I might be able to get that out. And even if I don't, it's fine. So these are, Tanner, these are convertible pants. So you can zip them off to make them capris and to make them shorter and overall good condition just besides that one little spot, which I think I can get out. And just a couple more pairs of jeans. Whew, my seat just lowered by itself. All right, so there it goes again. Must be because I have the jeans on me and it's adding more weight to my chair. 
All right, so this is a pair of AG Adriana Goldschmied. This is the Esteem pant or jean. These are pretty worn. I will say um, I was a little disappointed that they were in this worn of shape, but it's all right. But it's a uh, wide leg. And see, it's pretty worn in the back here, but that's okay. Even if I sell it and get like a $10 profit off of it, I'm perfectly okay with that. Another pair of Adriano Goldschmied. This is the legging, super skinny. There's the brand there. Oh, these are size, let's see. These are size 26. These other ones were a size 26. So in case you wanna bundle some items, but um, these are super skinny. Got the factory fading on them. And I'll say that the, the fabric on these are really comfortable for jeans. They just feel luxury-like. And then the last pair is yet another pair of Adriana Goldschmied. I can't find this brand around me. Um, so when I find it at a low-ish cost, I will definitely pick it up. And this is The Club. And these are a size 27. And these are a wide leg or uh, that might be like a boot cut. But these are in better condition than the other two. All right, well, that's it. My pile is growing around me. Um, thank you so much for joining me on this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I do have a mixed box uh, coming from ThreadUp and then another 20 items that I sourced from their outlet. So I'll be doing more haul videos and I do try to put up videos once a week. So make sure that you subscribe and hit the bell notification. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.